Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. This is the last video series of Balloon Tap game. So let's see the final state of a game. So let's finish the game. We have some more situation we need to complete this in this video series. So this is the last series. So let's see what are the systems we are going to do. So this, this is a basic game we already done. Let's play and have a look of the game. So this is the game. Tap, 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 and then if you go on, the score will be updated here. So let's do some. Let's do some settings. In option, let's make some correction. In the last video, we made some UI problem with the lines, border lines. So let's fix that now. I want to make sure that every anchor point should be perfect so let's make everything fine now Let's play and check it in every size. Okay. It has been fine for now. So the bar the borderline has been applied perfectly. Let's fix this music icon also. Make sure that your anchor point should be fixed perfectly otherwise it will be shown a different device will be in different variations so make sure that your anchor point should be fixed I'm just checking it with the different systems okay so we are going to change the background now So this is a basic game we have done and then this is the I score system so this is the main menu so we are going to change the background for every scene so let's open the script create a new script script have uh, maybe a uh, option menu and then open the script so this script is generally going to get the data drag and drop the script to the main camera open the script include the namespace call you using unity engine.ua make sure that you have a unity engine.ua since we are going to handle ua system so i'm just implementing ua and also i'm going to implement scene and management to switch the scene So we are going to get the data from this from the three inputs. So so I'm creating a public variable get selected BG data. and then int data 
so this is going to receive the data from the editor panel to the script so this data which going to receive we are we are going to apply that play prefabs dot set int and then within the double quotes play prefab name play prefab is nothing but we are going to save the data what the user has been selected so I'm just a uh, play prefab and then current pg with the data So let's have a button in the three background images and then drag and drop the script and then find for the function. So I think it's not updated. So let's see go and see the script. I think everything is fine. I'm not sure why it came. Let me check one more time. Oh my god, still it's not updated. I'm not sure why it have been updated. Everything has been applied fine. I'm not sure. Let me check. The script has been saved, but we can't able to find where. No, the function is not coming here. So let's have a drag one more time. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's a main camera. Still, we can't able to receive this script data in the editor. I'm not sure. It must be in bug or it must be in my error. What we do? Everything has been fine, but it's not showing in editor. I'm not sure why. It Maybe remove the script and then add and then find so that it will be get uploaded. Let's see. Remove that. No, I think still it's not even updated. There must be in some matter, I think. I'm not sure why it is not updated. The script is fine. Maybe we try to create one more function so that we can know what's going on. Let's have one more function. Maybe let's save and then see if this function has been updated. Oh. Yeah, it's came now. It's a Unity bug. We can't able to do anything in bigger than that. It's a mono developer bug. So we have everything fine now. So now we can be able to see our function. So let's call in every buttons. Let's have zero and then one and then three. So each number for each background images. Let's have one, two, three so that we can able to understand what's going on I have 1, 2, 3 we don't need it, uh, that function AC2 let's remove that let's have a print statement so that we can get the data and see what we are receiving from the button hit play Okay, everything working fine, I think. You can able to see that the data is printing in the console panel, so everything work fine. Let's start with coding.
if data equal to maybe we can try something else since the scene has been loaded at a start time we want to make sure that the, the play prefab should be load from start so i am just cut it down and paste it in start function play prefab dot get int of current bg let's have a integer the bg type this is going to receive the data from the saved play prefab of current bg so if bg type equal to equal to 1 we are going to have first background if it is 2 there will be a second background if it is 3 there will be a third background so let's make it simple script and just cut it down everything so that you make it as short and sweet. Um, before that, we want to get the background where we are going to change bg dot get component of image. It is an image component, so I'm just getting the image from the editor. Image should be in sprite, and then we are going to change these three types of sprites. Background 1, background 2, and then background 3. So let's have type of sprite in the array. Sprite array, it should be in sprite array. And then we are going to call the type of the sprite and assign it to the BG. And then we are going to get the saved play prefabs. So this is it. Let's have this function. Let's have this as a single function so that you can call in either in the game when the scene starts or when the user selection. So I'm going to have one function void. Let's see, I'm named scene changer. Yeah, this must be imperfect. Cut it down and then paste it here. Okay. I just called in short function and then just drag and drop the script. We have three BG. I'm just drag and dropping to the sprite array let's make one more array because we have three sprites okay we have and then the source bg we are going to replace it okay this is the source bg let's confirm one more time that's why i just disabled and enabled hit play and then just change now oh, i am got your index value it's a small error we want to tweak a little bit just make bg type to minus one because we have the array from zero one two so i've just changed play prefabs minus one so now everything work fine without any error so this is the condition What we are going to do, we are going to have the same condition in main menu. So the same steps in main menu also, nothing new. Since we are going to have everything identical, so I just doing this same function. And then call it as call it in start. Since the we are switching from scene, we are we don't need to do anything special. We are just making everything identical for each scene, so that. 
voice chart will work on every scene so we don't have any problem in that so it's just making the same system same set steps for each scene likewise we are going to do for a game scene let's finish the game over and then come back to game scene okay just open up the scoring system do the same step what we have done in main menu and the option menu copy and paste drag and drop every public reference bg and then the type of sprites if you have everything in same scene we you don't need to do these things but we have a separate scene so that's why i'm doing at in each scene because we I have four things if you have everything in one scene it must be in simple for one step since we have four scenes I'm just doing four times for each one each time for one scene in every start function let's go in game scene in the balloon we have player control just open the script the balloon should be in basic at the game show so we'll just apply it because we don't want to create a new script so I'm just making it inside a balloon script balloon is a per permanent object which going to have while the scene loads so there is no problem for us so I'm just creating inside the player control script Try and drop the BG and then three types of backgrounds background one and then background two and then background three. Hit play, let's check everything work fine. Okay, there must be a problem in game scene. Let's see why it's not loaded. Everything should be identical. We are not, we are, we are make sure that. Okay, this was okay. Main menu was okay. Game scene not loading. And then game over was okay. Okay, let's check it out in game scene what the problem is going on. Okay, we haven't applied the function. And then copy the BG changer to the white shot. Hit play, let's check it out. Okay, this must be an perfect view. We can see the background is changing for each scan without any problem. So let's have a back button in each scene so that we can able to navigate easily in the each scene. So I'm going to create one button. Go to the UI and create image and then have it at bottom wherever you like to place. I just placed at bottom because I have the space at the bottom. Create the text call back and then have the back at the caption. At the, at the name of your 
object and then make the color everything size everything which you like to place for that back button let's add a button event with that image so open the option menu let's add using unity engine dot scene management since we are going to switch the scene so you want to make sure that you have the namespace for using unity engine dot scene management we have already in main menu so let's copy and paste here okay the function name is get le get level index so we are going to switch from option menu to main menu so it must be in zero the button should pass the message zero to the script option menu and then select for that make sure it's zero okay now it play okay it's work fine so let's have the same menu in game over screen we are going to navigate to main menu similarly like option menu after the game has been over we are we need to navigate from game over menu to the main menu using a back button just copy the game script to the scoring system scoring system script which is present in game of screen in main camera object so turn into the main camera to the button scoring system and git level index should be zero make sure that one more time yeah main menu is zero so i am just adding zero if you have one you can add one save the scene now hit play and let's see ok press back button yeah now everything is fine you can navigate from each scene easily to other scene you can switch the scene if you need to change the music you can able to set I am switching the scene So every scenes are identical now. Tap, 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 and then tap. So this is it. So this is the last video of this tutorial series of balloon tap game. So if you like this video, please subscribe us. And wait for the next video series. So let's see. Let's see one more time, maybe. Hit play. Yeah. Let me have the highest score one more time. Sounding is my highest score. So this is the website. We are you are going to get the complete project here from unity3dteacher.com. So after this video complete, I will just upload it. You guys can get this complete project. So thanks for watching. I will see you in next video. Bye.